Hi, everyone, and welcome back to AWS Julie. Today, we're continuing our new series called AWS Noteworthy. And in this episode, I want to take a deep dive into the available training and resources that we have within our AWS community for real world and also for certification preparation. Please remember to, and like I said, for this episode, I want to take a deep dive into the available AWS training and resources that we have in our community. And the reason I'm building this document for AWS training and resources is because like I always say, training is personal and everyone learns differently. So I'm hoping to create this document that has training resources from many different platforms, from many different content creators and many different styles so that you can find the training that's gonna best work for you. And I'm starting off this document with AWS communities because the AWS community is so important. A lot of people undervalue it, but it has helped me in my journey tremendously. And I cannot recommend jumping in and getting involved in our AWS community. You're going to learn, you're going to help others learn, and it's a win-win situation. Everyone wins when everyone is involved in building the community. Adrian Cantrell runs Tech Study Slack, and this community is amazing, and it is definitely one of my favorites. We also have the AWS Community Builders Program, and this is a program that you have to apply for, but once you're in, oh my goodness, that you are going to learn so much. We also have a new community called Cloud Network Automation, and it's run by a friend of mine, Andy Taylor. And it's something that I'm getting into is network automation. And from this community so far, every single day I've learned something. I haven't really given back to this community so far because I'm still learning Terraform and I'm still trying to get my head around how to implement network automation into my current builds, but it's a great community and so far I'm loving it. There's also communities for our AWS community on Reddit and LinkedIn as two, and I'm working on getting more links for those. Moving on, we have a section for overall AWS training resources, and these resources are available to anyone. These resources focus on learning new skills, learning more depth for new requirements, certifications, and so on. And I've highlighted in blue the training that I personally recommend based on the activity that I see in our AWS community or training that I've personally used and absolutely loved. One of the key things that I focus on when I'm choosing what training that I need to use personally for my goals, for certification prep, or for example, taking this deep dive into network automation is looking into the community and seeing who's active in that community daily. Because if you find someone that's passionate and is active daily, who's creating content, they are going to most likely have solid, updated, correct content. And that's something that you're not going to find across all of the platforms. And especially when you're new to AWS and you're new to training, you don't know what you don't know. So you have no way of knowing if that content that you're using to learn is updated, is correct even. I've seen a lot of training, especially when I was first starting out, that gave me wrong answers, that gave me the wrong information or the training that I was watching was outdated and new service, new technologies and stuff had been released. And I had no idea that that new stuff was, was there. So it's important that you choose the training that works for you personally, but you also choose training that's correct and updated. And it's also great to support our AWS community. So if you see someone who's active in the community, it's really important to me personally, and I would recommend supporting that person because we want to keep that engagement. We want to keep that good, solid, updated content in our community. And of course, I'm going to keep building this list. So please let me know if I've missed anyone, if you have personal recommendations or you know of others who love certain content creators or different platforms. I think it's important that, especially when you're new, but also for everyone to have a solid list of what training is available so that you can choose the best training for you personally and go forward with whatever you're working on. I also included a section on hands-on labs, and this is actually a really great section for anyone that's looking for hands-on to really deep dive and implement that training. Because one of the things I like to say is it's great if you take training, right? But if you don't take that training and take that new skills that you've learned and apply that, it's just education. And hands-on labs are a great way to apply what you're learning. And again, please let me know if I missed anything. Anything that I can update and add to this document is just going to help us all. Okay, let's move on and let's talk about AWS training and resources specifically for AWS certifications. 
I love AWS certifications and I have tried to include in all of the certifications, the exam guide, the ramp up guide and official question sets for every single certification. Let's continue on and let's talk about AWS white papers. Now, a lot of people don't like white papers. They find them boring. I love them. I find white papers, especially the updated ones, you have to be careful with AWS white papers. Not all of the white papers are updated, but they do publish their dates so that you can know if it's updated or not. Like for example, the AWS Well-Architected Framework white paper was updated, I believe in 2020 or 2021, but they are a great resource and they are amazing for exam prep, but they're also great for knowing and understanding how to build out the environment to be resilient, highly available, fault tolerance, how to add in disaster recovery, you know, the whole shabam. And then I've also included a section on AWS education programs. Now, every week I have found a new education program since I started trying to build this list. So do expect more and more are going to come. But I wanted a spot that you could say, hey, like I'm a new and I want to get into AWS. Is there an education program available? And there are, there's a few actually, and they're really great programs. There's also specific programs for AWS employees internally, which is really amazing. There's the external programs, and there's also specific education programs for individual groups like women in tech. There's the She Builds program, which I'm a part of, I really love. And that's the really amazing thing about these programs is, there, is that they're educational. And then here is the mentoring section that I was talking about earlier. I only have two so far, but I'm available for mentoring. I, I'm telling you, I am so passionate about mentoring. I would not be here. I spoke about my mentors in the last episode. So you can go back and rewatch that. I actually have probably 10 or so mentors and those are different levels. Um, I have my mentor that I talk to daily. I have two mentors within AWS that are helping me, you know, ramp up my skills, build better content, but also, you know, grow my career. And that's really important to us all, right? That's, that's why we're here is to learn and to grow. And then I also have, like I just mentioned, mentors out in the community. Uh, Adrian Cantrell is probably my number one. I did have a few at Linux Academy and John Bonzo is from Tutorials Dojo, which I am a huge fan of. I recently just started using them. Uh, probably since last September or August of 2021 is when I started using tutorialsdojo.com. Absolutely amazing. They have amazing links for great dives, amazing question. Another great mentor I've seen out in the community, not a personal one of mine, is Stuart Scott from Cloud Academy. Also Jake Furlon, and he's one of my shout outs that I'm doing at the end of this video. He is really active in our DevOps community and creates content, but you can see how mentors, not even if they're not like a one-on-one, -on -one, you can see what other people are doing inside the community and it inspires you to do better, to do more and to grow. And then, like I said earlier, I do want to give two shout outs from the AWS community. These are two people that I noticed this week that were really diving deep and helping out. That's Dale Orders and Jake Furlon that I mentioned earlier. And with everything that's happening in our world today, I do want to share something that I've been working on this past week, especially is being more aware. I listened to two different presentations by Daryl Hammett and really dove deep into being aware being present, being connected, paying attention to my work-life balance, and so on. And I saw a quote that was really striking, and it I can't remember exactly how it goes, but it was basically saying that you can be replaced next day at work, but you can't be replaced at home. And that really hit me because I spend a lot of time working, and honestly, I don't spend enough time with my family. So that's something that I'm working on, and that's going to be something that I do from here on out is shutting down and limiting my work time and focusing more on my family. But I'm not gonna forget about you. I'm definitely not gonna forget about the AWS community because they're family too. But I am gonna start trying to focus more on my internal family and work a little bit less. And I'll add a few links on articles that I read and that I noticed this week. But I also wanna talk about, uh, I added a post to LinkedIn. It was actually a poll asking what training resources are most used in our AWS community? Because again, training is personal. 
everyone learns differently, but I want to make sure in this document that I'm building, that I have all of those training resources that people are out there using and finding specific data around this topic has been really difficult. I can go out in the community and see, you know, who are the favorites who are being the most used, but there's no real data to support what I'm seeing. And that was the reason behind the poll. I found a few articles from Amazon specifically that sort of supported that, but no real data behind it. I tried Googling generic phrases. I Googled market research. I Googled Google trends, and there's just no real data out there to see what people are using. So I'm trying to build some of that data so that I can make sure that as an AWS community, we're providing the training that is needed. And that wraps up another AWS Noteworthy episode. Thanks so much for stopping by, and I hope to see y'all again real soon.